All right, let's go over the uh, backside P154. There are 12 boys in a math class. The total number of students, S, depends on the number of girls in the class, G. So I'm going to take the boys plus the girls. Well, there I got it right there. Done. I'm just pulling information out as I go. The total number of students is S, and that's going to equal the boys, which there's 12 boys plus however many girls we have. Okay, and that's all they want. It just said write an equation. Don't have to solve even. Done. Okay, a store received a shipment of soup cans. The clerk put an equal number of cans on each of the four shelves. Equal number on each of the four shelves. Write an equation to represent the relationship between the total number of cans, T, so that's going to be my total number of cans, and the number of cans on each shelf in. Okay, so there's four shelves. If each shelf has the same, it's going to be four times the number of, sh of excuse me, it's going to be four times the number of cans, uh, whatever that is, but we know it's going to be the same on all four. So it's going to be four times, if there's five cans on each shelf, it'll be four times five and so on. All right, number three, the formula F equals 9 fifths C plus 35 gives the Fahrenheit temperature for a Celsius temperature of C degrees. Gwen measured a Celsius temperature of 35 degrees. What is the temperature in degrees in Fahrenheit? Sounds like a very complicated problem, but all we're doing is plugging in. So F equals 9 fifths times, and they told us what C is, 35 plus 35. So now you just multiply this out. You can uh, change this to a fraction, then you can do your cross simplifying here to find out the degrees Fahrenheit. I'll let you finish that math on your own, but again, if you have any questions, please, please, please raise your hand. Let's work this out together. Write an equation to represent this sentence. The difference of a number n and 1.8. Difference tells me I'm going to be subtracting. What am I subtracting? N and 1.8 is equals 2. There's my equation. Drew drank 4 cups of orange juice. This is 2 fifths the total amount of juice that was in the container. Solve. So we just need to solve for x. So 2 fifths x equals 4. The inverse operation would be div division, so you can either divide both sides by two-fifths, or if you want to get rid of the um, fraction, you can multiply each side by five first, and then you're left with, this cancels that out, leaving you with just 2x equals 20, and then I'll let you finish it from there. Okay, here graph x is less than or equal to negative 4.5. So negative 4.5 is where I put my circle. Because it has the line underneath, I know I need to shade my circle in. So where is negative 4.5? Well, here's negative 4. Here's negative 5. Negative 4.5 is going to be right in between them. And then x is all the... is could be negative 4.5 or anything less than. Less than means I go left, so I shade this way with an arrow pointing saying it could go on forever. Okay. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.